Hello everybody, how are you all today? Um, just a quick note, if a video advert played before this video started, uh, could you type cookies down in the comment section just so I know because I'm trying to figure out what's going on there and um, it would uh, be a great help if you did so. Okay. I have made a equivalent exchange tutorial little map thing, the link should be in the description if I remember to upload it, which I probably will, um, but I thought that I would, you know, uh, help people out who didn't quite know what it is, because I have been uh, requested to something 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 etc before. Anyway, um, let's get this started. Equipment Exchange is a fantastic mod, it's also part of the Technic Pack, which I am currently in. If you see this, you can see Insomnia mod is also installed, well, as part of the Technic Pack, and then we've got Crafting Tables, which I have used to uh, show people how to make certain things that we'll go through in right about now. Um, yes, okay. So we shall get started. When you first load a map, I would usually tell you to go chop down some trees, usually about three wood blocks would be fine. So you get one, two, three, then you'd make a crafting bench. So one of... Uh, where is it? Anyway, you know how to make a crafting bench, you're not stupid. Uh, once you've done that, you want to make a axe and chop down a couple stacks of trees. Since Tree Capitator mod is installed, if, as long as you just chop down one block, it should drop down the rest of the tree so it should make that very easy for you. Um, as soon as you've got that you'd want to go get a full set of stone tools and you'd want to get some cobblestone and cook well you'd make a furnace, cook some trees into making charcoal and you'll get covalence dust. Now this dust is pretty important it is used to help you make one of these as well as be able to repair your tools. Uh, the Dividing Rod. The Dividing Rod helps you locate ore. At this level it's pretty useless so I won't talk about that yet. Um, also something that I usually use that isn't from Equivalent Exchange but I thought it would be quite good to note. Uh, you take some of these, you go put them, make some paper, you make a book, and you make Crafting Table 2. Now what Crafting Table 2 does it pretty much takes everything in your inventory and hang on a sec I'll just show you what I mean if you have all kinds of things so we'll grab some well we've got enough here right then we click on this and we can make all this kind of stuff here now this is taken into account that we've got cobblestone wood and sugarcane now if we take some wood planks oh look at that we've got even more stuff and more stuff well not so much more stuff there but you get the idea so we get some of these, and bam, look at that, just like that, we've managed to find all these different items that we can make. It pretty much takes every mod that you've got into consideration, hopefully. Um, I haven't tested that as of yet, but it works really well with the Technic Pack, especially when you don't want to have to learn all of these uh, many, many, many. If you see one of these blocks, it's a new recipe. Um, this usually just helps with... Uh, you know, making everything. Anyway, so once you've got in like one of these and your full set of stone tools and your uh, divining rod, you should have everything here because I want you to go caving. Um, this is all stuff that you will eventually use with the equivalent exchange mod. Uh, you want some food to, you know, be able to eat. You'll probably be down there for a little while. You need sugarcane for some other stuff. Anyway, so we'll have that. Um, we would take these, we'd go get some redstone and some iron, that's priority number one once you go caving. And we need that so that we can come make some covalence dust level two, well medium covalence dust. In turn, once we've gotten some iron, we'd smelt that down and we'd come chop some diamond and we'll get some coal as well. And we would make high covalence dust. Now it is quite pricey, it costs one diamond but it is very very useful and we use that to make divining rod level 2 now if we type in here divining rod level 2 um, also something important to note if you've got not enough items mod installed you can push R over any particular thing and it will tell you how to make that item so I just included it in here just for convenience sake but yes 
Now you can take this and you can push G which increases range. Now it's pretty useful as you can see down in the bottom left corner it tells you how far it's going to be searching. So it's going to search 64 blocks ahead of me in a 3x3 three three grid. And then it, once you right click on a piece of block it will tell you what the exact uh, value would be. Now the best found is 64, so that is pretty much talking about this item, I'm sure, unless it's this item. Either way, it tries to find the best it can within the certain range that you've given. So if I go like that, best found, 8192, that is how much a diamond is worth. It's worth 8192 EMC, which is the equivalent exchange currency. Anyway, um... By the time you've gone to this point, you would have found that your tools are getting quite damaged. Now, what you can do is you can make a talisman of repair, and we will be using that later on. But if you have a talisman of repair in your inventory, along with each of the covalence dusts, depending on what tool you use, if it, your tool is close to breaking, it will automatically use a covalence dust in order to keep your tool alive. Now, that is really useful. Oh. Hang on, we're going to turn off Matmos because we are not a fan of having myself interrupted. We'll turn off the rain as well and set it back to daytime. So yes, that's very useful. Now we're going to go over here. By now, this is what we should have after caving. We should have three iron ingots, five redstone, two diamonds, etc, etc. We want all of this stuff in order to keep continuing on. So we keep going, and we need to create an alchemical chest. Now, alchemical chests are pretty special. If we have one of the uh, talismans of repair, so we'll type in talisman. Mind you, you won't normally be able to use the cheating thing. I'm using it just for the purposes of the tutorial. I usually prefer not to. Now, if we have a talisman of repair in one of these chests, if we've got damaged items, Regardless of whether or not we've got covalence dust in here, it will automatically try to repair your items, which is fantastic, I'll tell you that. But anyway, we're going to be going to the nether, because we need glowstone, which is something that is used quite a lot, actually. Um, oh, we don't want to peek over there, that's uh, spoilers. So we go to the nether, wait, we'd put everything in here first, obviously, except for a pickaxe and probably a shovel as I have said here, and we would go to the nether, get our glowstone dust, um, the more you can get the better, but you'd probably only need about a stack at most because we'll be able to, uh, well I'll show you later on, but at the moment you'd only need maybe between 4 and 64 depending on how long you want to stay in the nether. If you only play on peaceful, you'll find that uh, getting 64 might be easier for you, well better for you in the long run. Anyway, now we're getting on to some real alchemy. So, first of all, we need to make a Philosopher's Stone, which is essentially a portal, uh, portable crafting bench. So, this is the recipe. Again, cost a diamond, but, you know, it's worth it. So, we take one of these, Philosopher's Stone. Now, Philosopher's Stone is pretty fantastic. Oh, by the way, if you're going to be using... Oh, as you heard, it's a charging sound. Um... You'll press V most of the time whenever you want to charge something in equivalent exchange. Now I'm just going to show you something pretty cool about the Philosopher's Stone. If you come over to grass and right click, it will change it into sand and back. If you hold down shift and right click, it will turn it into stone. And if stone is right clicked, it will turn it into smooth stone. Very cool, very cool. Uh, however, if you use it on sandstone, or gravel, here we go, if you use it on gravel, it turns to sandstone, if you use it on sandstone, it turns to gravel, if you hold down shift, it still doesn't do anything, um, those are the only two that they change into. So anyway, that was pretty cool. Now that we've got this uh, Philosopher's Stone, we want to make a transmutation tablet. Now, if we use this particular recipe, we'll have to get ourselves some obsidian and some smooth stone, and we'll get a transmutation tablet. Now, this is one of the most useful items that you'll find in Equivalent Exchange. Uh, probably more useful than the Divining Rod in the long run, especially. Well, after a while, the Divining Rod becomes, you know, obsolete. You don't need it at all. 
Um, you'll excuse the pirate ship over there, the... It's part of a different mod, anyway. Um, teach this tablet every block and item. Now, if we right-click on this, you can see that we can't put the Philosopher's Stone on there. But, what we can do is we can teach it all sorts of different uh, items in here. So we chuck in all of these. It can learn grass, it can learn stone, cobblestone, saplings, uh, different types of saplings. It's not supposed to learn bedrock, so we'll get rid of that can learn all the different types of wood. As you can see, each time I feed them in, it gets more EMC. To burn a whole stack of items, it will give you all this EMC. So this is what you can turn into one other, like one or other stuff. So we hold this down, and we can get all that. However, they seem to have taken away um, pulling out stacks of items, and that's not supposed to happen as far as I'm aware. Why did that happen? Huh. Anyway, we'll ignore that. Um, so we keep feeding in the items. Let's see. It will not take ore, just so you know. It won't take the ore like that. You need to process it first. However, it will take glowstone. Oh, no, it won't take glowstone. I'm locked onto matter. Okay. Uh, that's frustrating. Um, Hang on a sec. I need to... What is... Oh, that wasn't good. <sighs> okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit, and we're going to grab some of this glowstone, because glowstone is... Oh, right, I just tried to do that. Come on, you can do it. Use your thinking brain, if you have one. Okay, diamonds. Diamonds will be easy enough to bring out all of it. No, it won't. <sighs> oh, dear. So if I, oh, damn it, now I just killed the whole thing. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll pop that back on. <laughs> As you can see, it's still got the same EMC. So we'll just have to uh, pop that back in. Okay. Now that we've got all those items out of there, we can pop in glowstone, and glowstone is fuel as well as... There are several different types of fuel. I will get into that now in fact. So we will go over to coal, charcoal, so these are the basic ones that we all know. Coal, charcoal, uh, I think you can do lava buckets but they come under matter so we won't worry about that. Now it's important to note that coal is actually worth a lot more than uh, charcoal. Since charcoal can be transmuted, no, since charcoal can be made from trees it would be unfair to be able to have them you know, worth the same thing, apparently. Anyway, so that's pretty much how you teach the thing items, where we'll move on. Time to replace your alchemical chest. Now what we can do is we can make an alchemical bag. Alchemical bags are pretty good, not gonna lie. It's like an alchemical chest, except for one very important thing. Well, basically, it's an alchemical chest that you can, you know, store with you. It's extra bag space. So we can just chuck all these in here, and we'll never have to worry about them again. Well, kind of. These do get full after a while, you'll find that later on. However, it is unimportant right now. So we've got our new alchemy bag. Now we need to go resource collecting. We need to find diamonds. It is pretty important, not gonna lie. And as soon as we have found these diamonds, we can make some stuff of this. Now this is called an energy collector. What it does is it collects the sunlight's rays, like I showed you before how... Uh, let's see, let's show it. How this is fuel, glowstone is fuel, it's light. So what this does, we make an energy collector. Uh, I've already told you about Somnia mod and that's not actually part of this mod so we won't worry about it. That sound was creepy. Anyway, ooh, that is full. I've been... I spent a long time today trying to make this uh, this little map. Now, what we do is we chuck in a piece of charcoal. Oops, did you see the quick flash as it went through all of them? Ah, um, oh, that's a pain. Uh, I need more coal. Need more coal. And I also need a sneeze. Uh, uh, okay, don't worry about that. We'll grab a whole stack of charcoal. Okay. 
So we get rid of this. We put a piece of charcoal in here. That chucks it up to redstone. Now this tool is very, very important for being able to teach your uh, your transmutation tablet new fuel. Hang on a sec, I just want to test something. Yes, so if you have more than one transmutation tablet, the EMC carries over. Important to know, important to know. So now we'll trade those over. Unfortunately it's going to take a while. As you can see we've got 8 Annalis fuel, so we're going to feed that into. I may as well just show you all the different fuels. Okay, where for art thou? There's Mobius fuel. We also have alchemical coal, which as far as I know, I think they discontinued using that as a fuel source in a furnace, but it's still good to have, or at least, you know, know about. So, yes, that is essentially what this does at the present time. It upgrades your fuel into the next one higher. Um, what we can do is we can chuck, as you saw, uh, hang on a sec, glowstone is quite expensive. Uh, <laughs> It's less than ideal. So we've got, it's worth 1500, which is, if diamonds were worth how much? 8.2. And glowstone is worth 1.5. It is pretty, uh, it's a pretty good idea to go farming in the nether for glowstone if you think that you have enough armor and won't get uh, killed by gas and all that kind of stuff. There is a bug on my computer screen and it's starting to annoy me. Okay. But what we have here, since, oh, right, to my point, glowstone is quite expensive. However, it gives off the same amount of light as, oh, where the devil are you? Can you see the pumpkin that has light inside of it? Right there, jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is slowly draining as nighttime wears on. So if we set it to midnight, this is no longer operating at high power. We've we've run out essentially. Very, very slow. However, we can chuck a jack lantern on top of that in order to do so. Push shift and right click, since you can't right click on these things normally, and that pops it straight back up to the full. I believe it receives its light from there, so as long as this block above this is full well, it has sufficient light source, it will be able to uh, receive light. So that's pretty important. Now, we can make an alchemy credit card. As you can see, we can store all sorts of crap inside here. However, that's not always ideal. Um, sometimes we may need to use something else. No, sometimes we may want to move around. Actually, no, that's not quite true anymore. Um, ignore that. Oh wait, no. We want to take the EMC from here so that we can use them for other things. I will show you that soon. So in order to do that, we take a diamond and some of our Mobius fuel, which is, you know, something that we need to use, and we get a Kleinstar Ein. Now, Kleinstar Ein is basically the alchemy credit card. It stores your EMC for later use. And then... In order to actually end up using it, we need an antimatter relay, which costs an energy collector, some obsidian, or all that good stuff. But as you can see, the energy collector itself is quite expensive anyway, so you will need to keep getting resources as you go. You always <laughs> you'll find that this is actually a really fast tutorial. You might have spent three or four hours doing this stuff already before you even get to this point. Now, as you can see, we've already got a Kleinstar Iron in there loaded up. Well, ready to be loaded. So, we have... This is our recipe. We plonk it down. We place in our items that we want to load onto it. It will take pretty much anything, except it will not take this ore. So, if we leave that there, it's not going to touch it. It will slowly load each and everything. I'm going to speed that up, actually. So it's put in the Mobius fuel, but it has not tried to grab the gold ore. It will try and grab uh, if you smelt it though, so that's very important. Also, something I should have... Oh no, I did tell you about that. Never mind, actually. Never mind. 
So now that we've loaded up our Kleinstar uh, Ein, you can see that it's almost full. It's got 40,000, or 40, almost 41,000 EMC in it. So we, this isn't going to be good for us. Like we are going to need more because 40,000 is actually not even worth one of these. This is probably worth about 70,000 EMC. So we can't create one of these from that credit card. Also, a side note, if you have created one of these, it's always important to... <laughs> Number one thing, I keep forgetting. It's very important to always teach your transmutation tablet what you need, or well, what you've got. So, okay, 82,953. As you can see, we can have exactly one of those. And there we go. It costs a lot. So we come back over here... We have our client start iron. We take that out actually because in case other people want to try this mod out, we'll put that there. We'll take this away. Now we need a bigger credit card. We need to make four. Well, we need to make three more client start iron. So this would have been over here. We make three more, and that will be upgraded to client stars way. Now you can make a bigger credit card than client stars way. In fact, you can. From start to finish, you'll have about five different types of credit cards. Um, they are all upgraded the same way, so one, two, three, four, and they all have to be the same. So Client Stars Way needs three other Client Stars Ways in order to upgrade. So you get the idea. Now to Diamond Generation. So we have our Transmutation Tablet, which I put here to remind myself to, you know, always teach it stuff. Now we have three of these, what did I call them? They're the collectors, so we have those, we've put our... Is it raining? Yes it is. Anyway, we put our jack-o'-lanterns in order to make sure that they get light regardless of the day, and we put it on top of here. Now what we've done is this can generate EMC just by itself. We were originally using these to upgrade our charcoal, However, that is not necessary. It can be used in order to put it into the relay. The relay, or well, they all charge up the relay. The relay goes into the client star. You get the idea. Slowly it's been generating. Since I think I got to this point, I've put it in straight away. And yes, so that charges up slowly by itself. As you can see, you can probably get about nine... No, not nine probably get about five diamonds out of that, maybe six. It takes a long time to generate diamonds with just this simple setup, so we're going to go on and we can do better. Yeah, see, I even said so to myself. We can do better. Let's automate the diamonds. And I am back. Sorry about that. I had to say goodnight to somebody. Anyway, we can get our energy collectors, no, energy condensers and in our chemical chest, you know, it's quite expensive, but you get the idea. We're, this is a very expensive mod. It gets better, trust me. <laughs> it takes a while, but you, since we can, you know, transmit diamonds by pretty much smelting down everything else into our credit card, it does get easier. So we take, as you can see, we've got that simple thing there. It's pretty much the same thing over here, except we've got the condenser over here. So over time, it will slowly... this is the target. This is what it will try and make. So if we put a diamond in there, it will try and mass produce that. Now watch what happens if I put charcoal in here. That's how much charcoal it could make out of all the diamonds that it had already had. If you put things... okay, hang on. We'll put coal in here. So we'll keep... <laughs> it's slowly smelting down all the charcoal. Um, I might try sticky pistons actually. So slowly it's going to make all these sticky pistons out of whatever we put in here. Obviously stone is worth a lot less so it takes longer to fill up the bar. But that is not, you know, not useful right now. What we want are diamonds. All the diamonds. Diamonds are forever in fact. Well, kind of. Since the block of diamond is worth 9 diamonds, it takes 9 times as long as a normal diamond. So, it's still not enough? No worries. 
Here's some important stuff that we need to learn. We have a block of diamond, and we need a denialis fuel, which we saw over there when we were using our one of these to upgrade our fuel. <sighs> and then we get dark matter. As you can see, dark matter is also quite expensive. I think it's worth about 135,000 EMC. I may be wrong. And then we go up to red matter, which in turn is worth even more than the dark matter. I think dark red matter is 150 or close to 200, I forget. I can't remember how much 9, uh, 8, 8 analysis fuel is worth. Um, fun stuff for later, dark matter block and red matter block. Just important stuff to learn while we're learning about dark matter and red matter. Again, we've got more credit cards, which I should have shown you later on. Slowly gets more and more, and then we get Client Star Omega, which is the ultimate credit card. <sighs> Let's make our diamond generator faster. So, we have our normal antimatter relay. We chuck that in along with some dark matter, and we get Relay Mark II. Again, we can do that with the energy collector as well, and we get Collector Mark II. Now, we can upgrade. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, we can upgrade those two in turn as well with red matter, so it's the same thing, except we've got Relay Mark II here and Collector Mark II. Now this is a diamond generator. <laughs> this would take a long time. Each of these are worth far too much. Um, however, they produce diamond very, very quickly. I believe I took away all this, these diamonds just as I was going to restart this tutorial and already it's almost up to a full stack of diamond. Now that is really really quick. However, again that is almost not fast enough. So you could put another relay mark 3 here and another condenser there, oopsies, um, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that later, I promise. Oh. But yes, that is essentially how you start off with equivalent exchange. Uh, <laughs> but yes, okay, look at this. That's about it, really. Always remember to teach your tablet every new block and item, but there is still more fun to come. Bum bum. And. This is stuff that you do in the meantime while you're waiting for your generators or whatever you're doing. So, bored of waiting for your diamonds? Let's play with stuff while we wait. When caving, always take these items with you. So, these are your items. Destruction Catalyst, Alchemy Bag, Black Hole Band, and Gem of Eternal Density. Along with your credit card. You need your credit card in order to use this item. I will show you how to make these. This is an Iron Band. This is the Black Hole Band. And this is your Gem of Eternal Density. Look how much all of these cost. Quite a lot. Less than ideal, I tell you. Nova Catalyst, that's a type of TNT, which I won't be showing you. Um, I'm sure that you can, you know, find out for yourself. However, we use it in order to get a Destruction Catalyst. It is a fantastic item. I was playing Equivalent Exchange for hours and hours, actually getting up to almost this point before I discovered it. And then I was very, very annoyed because it makes everything so much faster. It was pretty unbelievable. Um, I might actually show you. Um, so hang on. Okay. Basically, what this item does is you right click, and if you heard that sound. That was it trying to mine anything in front of me. Now what I've just done is I've charged it up and I'm going to shoot it. Boom! It just mined everything in front of me. Now I'll probably show you over here what it really does because, you know, putting up a few blocks there is not really anything interesting. Boom! And it puts everything in a nice little block. Quite useful, I would say. Look how quick that is. So I've picked up all of those. I just got 
this much basalt just like that for no no work at all really. Imagine how long that would take you to mine otherwise. You can make it face down well, and of course it makes cave diving much much quicker. <sighs> I can't believe it took me so long to discover this item, it is the best. Now I'm going to go put this back in the chest and probably delete everything in my inventory. Not that you really need to, to worry about that, but if you take that down to like level, well, about, uh, if you can see in the top right corner you can see a map, if you see the numbers 85, that is what level I am, like that is the height I am at, if you take it down to height level 10, which is pretty good for finding diamonds I will tell you that, and you start using the destruction catalyst, which uses currency from our credit card, you will find so many ores that it will be pretty much unbelievable. Um, I'll be honest, I was really annoyed that I hadn't discovered it sooner, but that is hindsight for you. And a couple of fun things. Are you tired of drowning? Well, make one of these. <laughs> Again, more currency that you could have used for other things. Could have used it for collectors or whatever. However, it makes an Evertide amulet. If you have a Evertide amulet, you can... Oh, I'll show you in a sec. <laughs> However, Tired of Dying in Lava, also another good item. It's the same as the water one, but it gives you... Well, no, you need lava for it instead. So there we go, we have the Vulcanite Amulet and the... Okay, so we'll just get some of these. Watch this. Now, as you can see, my breath bar is going down. However, once it reaches zero it will not try to drown me. As long as these are on your hotbar, they have to be in here. You will not drown, and you will not be hurt by uh, drowning. <laughs> so, as you can see, it is still doing no damage. And now, something else that's fun, if you push space, it will push you to the very top of it very, very quickly. You can essentially walk on water. That is how good it is. Well, it doesn't look quite as nice here, but I will show you in a second. Uh, it makes it makes you slowly uh, fall, I would say. Well, it puts you at the level that you're at. Okay, look how I just walked onto the water. Look how fast I'm going. You can essentially like, uh, I'm just I'm I'm in love with these mods, honestly. <sighs> okay, now I will show you the Vulcanite amulet as well, as you do. Now what we do is we stand in this lava, <gasps> look at that, we're not burning, yay! Again, it can do the same thing as our other one. It turns it into ice almost, like it has the same properties, you slide across it. As long as you don't jump while you're on top of it, you'll be able to move really fast. Now something else that's cool to uh, see, if we... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Um, Give a sec. I'll just move over here. This is our little testing area. If I right click with this, I get water. If I right click with this, it would give me lava. However, I do not have any currency to spend. So it will take redstone, as far as I know. So I get some redstone. Bam! <laughs> just like that. However, we don't want that, so we'll turn that into water. And now we can use the special it uh, item ability. If we've got Vulcanite amulet, okay, hang on. So watch this. Okay, that's not working. If we push C while we're doing this, we clear all water around us. If we, it's supposed to be able to right click. Duh, not like that. <sighs> See, these things work before, and then they just don't work when I'm trying to show it. No known village closer than two kilometers, keep searching. Okay, I pushed X then, that was the wrong item. Hmm. Well, maybe you actually need the currency to be able to use the right-clicking function of Vulcanite Amulet. But you get the basic idea. <sighs> I hope this has been informative for you guys. 
There are other things that are in equivalent exchange, which are fantastic as well, but I will not be showing it in this video since it's rather, you know, dragging on. However, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have a positive or negative response, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Remember to leave in the comment section the word cookies if you got a video advert, because that would help me out if I know whether or not those are showing up on my videos. Um, also, if I have said any wrong information, please, please tell me, because I need to know these things, otherwise I'm not going to improve, and other people are going to get the wrong information, and it's just going to, it's not good, okay? So, boom. Discover the rest on your own. <laughs> okay guys, I hope that this was informative for you, if you... Oh, I've already done this part, haven't I? No, I haven't told you guys to like, favorite, subscribe. No, I haven't told you guys to subscribe. If you did enjoy me, feel free to subscribe. However, I am not too worried. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I shall catch you all guys later. Okay, see ya.